Okay, now that all the boring stuff is out of the way, such as getting the song settings correct, it's time to do something a little bit more interesting and actually create some music. So I've started a new song from scratch and a really good place to start when you're creating music is with the drums because it gives you a rhythmic bed to build the rest of the track on. So the first way that we can create drums is called touch drumming. And when we're looking at the default screen at the start where it's asking us to create our first track, we're going to select acoustic drums, which is this little icon right here. That's going to load us up a drum kit, which we can simply just hit uh, with our finger on the iPhone screen. Okay, so there are a few things to note. There are um, some of these drums have different, slightly different sounds depending on where you hit them, such as the hi-hat. If you hit on the left hand side and the bottom, uh, the bottom left, you get an open hi-hat sound. If you hit on the bottom right or on the right hand side, you get a closed hi-hat and you get the foot pedal style here up the top. Um, also, depending on how hard you hit it, there are some velocity settings. So if you hit softly, you get a soft sound. The harder you hit, you'll get a greater velocity. And we can change those settings. I'll show you in just a moment. Okay, so we can change the drum kit um, with the downward facing arrow on the top left hand corner right here. And where it says SoCal, that is the name of this drum kit. If I select that, it will give me a fantastic list of drum kits, all different styles, different sounds. So I can select a bit more of an R&B sound here and you'll see it will also change the appearance of the drum kit. And uh, we can also select electronic drum kits. So I'm going to build a bit of a hip hop beat in this tutorial. So I'm going to select electronic and we have all these different drum machine emulations. Uh, I'm going to select the 808 flex and you'll see that the user interface changes slightly. We have more of a drum pad feel here. So these are all the different sounds. And when we're ready to start recording these, uh, there are a few settings that I like to make sure are switched on to make this a lot easier. First of all, I like to have the metronome switched on, which is this icon here. When it's blue, it's activated. Secondly, I want to go to the track settings by clicking on the top right hand corner on this cog right here, selecting track controls. This will give us some controls uh, for this track under this track settings menu. Um, I like to have the quantization on, which means that if I hit a note slightly out of time, it will snap it to the closest note of my choice. In this instance, I'm going to select straight and I'm going to select 16th notes. I also under track settings like to have the velocity sensitivity set to low when I'm recording electronic drums so that there's not too much of a variance between the volumes of each hit. You might have to set that to medium or high for acoustic drums. And under recording, I always like to make sure that merge recording is on. That way we don't have to record all of the drums at once. We can let it loop over and over and record one or a couple of drums at a time. So I'm going to hit this icon here to uh, collapse those track settings, or I can just hit the track settings, go back there and then hit that. Now I'm going to hit this little plus icon on the top right hand corner, because at the moment the default amount of bars on this section is eight. I only want to record a four bar loop. So I'm going to hit done and that's going to change the length of this section to just four bars. And when I hit record, it should give me a count in and I can start recording first the kick and the snare. And then I'll start layering other drum sounds as I continue to play. Oop, first of all, right off the bat, I've just realized that the song, because I've created a new song, it's way too fast. So I'm going to hit this cog and 
select the song settings, I'm going to change the tempo right here down to something a little bit more appropriate for the style of beat I'm creating. And I'm going to select 90 beats per minute. Let's try that again. So let's have a listen there. It has uh, quantized those notes to be right on the, the beat. So let's add some hi-hats now. And then some other elements. And some shakers. So you can see as I'm going, it's layering those instruments over. Let's add an open hi hat. Okay, beautiful. So now I've got a nice little beat going on there. And I can switch back to the track view by hitting this icon here. And that will then enable me, if I want, to edit uh, any of those notes if I want to after that performance. So if I double click on that region there, that green part, I can hit edit. And this will give us the piano roll editor or the MIDI editor where we can go in and see um, I can use my, I can pinch in and um, push out to go on a horizontal axis. I can do it on a vertical axis if, uh, axis if I want. And these are all the hits here on the, on the left hand side. You can actually hit them to hear which drum is which. So if I wanted to add in a, a extra um, hi-hat, let's say if I missed one, um, I might add a hi-hat an extra hi-hat in the second bar here, I can hold my finger down on this little uh, pencil here and just click on a spot and it will create a new note for me. And when I click on that note, I can delete it. I can change the velocity of that, which is how hard the note was hit. And I can copy or, or cut that note. So let's listen to that, uh, what that's done there. So that's added in an extra note. So if I hit a note that I didn't want, I can go in here, I can edit this and get rid of that note. I'm gonna hit done. So we can now, if we want, uh, extend um, uh, this section of this song by hitting this little plus button back out to eight bars in length. Select eight. And you'll notice that it's automatically looped that region for me up to be eight bars in length. If I wanted to do that manually, I simply double click on that region and select loop. And I can resize the loop by just clicking and holding on the edge and dragging it in and out. So that's a really fantastic way of creating drums using the touch drum method.